Hello guys, in this video I will show you most of the loot and the locations of the unmarked spots on the map. So, um, like the trucks or this crashed convo here. And uh, I will also show you the radio towers locations because... Uh, also sorry for the interruption, but here is a very bootleg map I made in paint. Enjoy. Only the ones outside of the big cities and places, uh, like it's one of the hill over here, I will show it later, of course. Uh, so, let's get started. So, first, my favorites of the entire map, obviously the technical tracks, they've been also added to the game, which I really appreciate, finally. Uh, so, let's start, um, like, with the... my first video on the channel about tutorials. <laughs> what a great loop, isn't it? Uh, the ammo, the technical tracks pretty much spawn um, the rebel loot, like uh, nades, some uh, caps, some west, some civilian clothing as well, but mainly like uh, low caliber ammunition, uh, main ca <laughs> low caliber ammunition like the pistol, sometimes but very rarely in Terminate. Uh, you can also find SV, uh, not SV68, yeah, like. Pretty much all of the low tier weapons and some backpacks and stuff. And uh, so this is the first one I will show. The next one is right here. Uh, behind this crash tunnel. Uh, yeah, as you can see there is also some SPS-17 parts. And uh, an intermediate box mentioned before. Uh, some other parts, some other like technical loot. Uh, these supplies. And then the next thing is, if I remember correctly, right here. Uh, just like that, uh, an anti-air technical, uh, with like a, oh yeah, see this one has also some good loot, but I guess, uh, they all can get it because they're in the same loot pool, so, yeah, even high velocity ammo spawns here, I have a higher route on my single player world, so you shouldn't expect the same returns. But uh, it really depends on the server and on the respawn rates. And the next technical is, I believe, over here. Yep, exactly like that. This would be the fourth one for the all the Arsenal free quest. And the last one, I'm not even sure if it's the map still. Is it that thing? No, it's that thing, I think, right? Yep, exactly that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, this for the technicals. Uh, then the next thing uh, we will be doing, I will be showing you this compound here. Uh, so, wait, let me just back up a bit. The place holds a lot of civilian loot, some clothes, sometimes cars, if you're in the wipe to get it. A lot of uh, other supplies like nails, bolts, uh, hair dryers that you can scrap. Basically all of that stuff you want to just get rid of, and also like blow torches, car drugs, gas cans, and uh, that's it for the place. So, let me get back into my character, and uh, the next thing I felt like I should mention, maybe this tower here. Uh, a little bit of supplies, some pressure valves. Uh, it's also one of the radio towers needed for, uh, I believe it's the... One of the quests uh, given, I think it's uh, reinforcement 4 or 3, I'm not sure about that, uh, but yeah, you will have to plant a flare here and also it spawns some uh, decent rebel loot, I mean, it's really the same as all the towers. Uh, the next thing I should really mention is the these two places, it is a uh, police checkpoint, probably the best for this place. Uh, it comes pretty basic loot, a bunch of cops, cop zombies, a little tower, uh, nothing special, but uh, then right next to it you have this place, uh, a crash tank and a APC, it spawns military gear, a compact backpack, the castle, the Zolash, uh, basic military gear I could find at the Airport. Also, a USP, OSP scope is also appreciated. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for this place. Then, my favorite of the bottom of the map is uh, probably 
in this place. Uh, this little train station. I absolutely love it. And not really this place itself, because like you can find a little bit of uh, rebel loot here also with these things. They drop money, you can make it into uh, into cloth, it's very handy. And also it sometimes drops some other fancy stuff. Uh, but uh, the best thing about this place is uh, probably the amount of supplies that spawn here in general. But then uh, I thought I, sh I think I should share it with you. Is uh, this stash location right here? It's right behind the thing. The, the train station of here is uh, in this little valley, uh, right next to these three palms. I will show it also on the map. So here is the here are the roads, the compound here, and uh, about here, and you have like these uh, seven stashes. So. And as you can see, they give some decent loot. So at Steel Mesh, that's uh, already a <laughs> great charitable gift from someone who started here before. And also some gunpowder, that's uh, also great. Uh, then you have this... I don't know, I guess it's like a bunker entrance or something. Uh, some, civilian clo some civilian loot. Uh, some tools. Down there also some rebel stuff. Uh, like the sparkle, sky mask, and the uh, ski mask, and the intermediate ammo box. Uh, and also a law. That's... The law doesn't spawn here. I spawned it in to try to blow something up. Ignore it, please. Oh, never mind. I forgot about that. Yeah, ignore that. Uh, then, here next to the safe zone, it's like this little. I don't even know. I think it's supposed to be a ship. Yeah, it's a. Beach shipped, uh, beach shipped, uh, a uh, beached sheep, yeah. And uh, here we have some rebel stuff like all of these compact backpacks. I mean, it's civilian actually, but uh, you have these ski masks, towels, ammunition, some butterfly knives, uh, all of this fancy stuff. Nothing really spawns down here besides like this a backpack, and I think, yeah, some ammo. Uh, Band 98 also has a, spawn, a chance at spawning here. Uh, yeah, I think that's really it. We have a hammer, uh, some other supplies and tools, some food even, and uh, this little container which sometimes can't contain some good, decent, better gear. Uh, the next thing we can I can probably show you is obviously like this uh, little fishing place. Uh, right outside the safe zone, it just gives you a lot of fishing gear. Probably quite obvious and everyone knows about it. Uh, also we have a stash here. Over here is the one of the ready towers that you will need for the quests again. Uh, rebel stuff as uh, always. Uh, then my next thing I should probably mention. Uh, maybe, yeah, I should mention really this place. A uh, little hut here with the... Uh, these flowers, these poppy flowers. Uh, yeah, the civilian stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can find some rebel stuff here, exactly. And uh, yeah, uh, you can get some water here as well if you're uh, thirsty it for this place. And then probably the best unmarked location, which is quite obvious if you look for it, is this uh, crashed helicopter. It gives great loot. Uh, like this frag ammo box, see, that's exactly, that's that's what I mean, like, this is absolutely cracked, so this is a uh, SV, uh, some gunpowder, even uh, artillery shell cases, this is great, this is absolutely a uh, must go to place if you live nearby this uh, crater, uh, let me just cut these zombies. Exactly. Uh, so it is near Point Oscar, nothing special. Uh, then here we have the crash satellite. Uh, yeah, nothing that great, just a bunch of uh, like electronic stuff, so like these copper wires. Uh, yeah, pretty basic gear. I guess if you need metal parts and some metal fragments and maybe some copper wires if you're really that down bad, uh, you can come here. Uh, this uh, little village here as well. I don't even know if it's uh, 
worth mentioning. You just have a little bit, little uh, tent here. Up here you have some uh, more supplies. Nothing great and special. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. And uh, we're gonna get away from the zombies. Uh, you also have. Uh, I think it's here yeah, exactly behind side place. Uh, you have like this little, uh, little cheat shack. Let's say completely busted down. You can enter this place. There is uh, this basement here. You have some food. And yeah, and then I'll say quite interesting. Inside here is the same fig pig photo, and actually a bunch of them from what it looks like, uh, as in Point Lima. The next place is this abandoned mineshaft. Here. Uh, this is the mine. You can find the pickaxe here, or at least a pickaxe part. Um, so, you have these tunnels here, you can go around. And I'll just uh, show it to you in the pickham. You have these uh, doors here. Uh, you can find some military stuff behind here, and uh, also some like kerosene, gunpowder, but uh, battery acid, uh, that is uh, a favorite uh, drink of mine actually. Uh, I like to chuck the entire uh, bottle of it, uh, inject it in my blast stream actually. I'm a, uh, I love it, obviously, uh, don't do it in real life. Um, you have also the other door here, you can also get some sulfur. Uh, another thing I should probably mention, and there is uh, this little entrance right outside uh, the airfield. Uh, yeah, just a simple mine again. It leads into the same uh, mine cave system that uh, I've shown into my, my other mountain video. Uh, pretty basic stuff. If you go, I think, yeah, this starts with the den zone. You can find on the mountain here. Uh, yeah, that's it for this place as well. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Uh, I mean, you can also technically go here. There is uh, between this in, in this middle of this uh, minefield. There is a tank with some military spawns. Uh, ignore that. Uh, yeah, I believe that's it. Uh, also, I think right here. Is, uh, yeah, radio tower. We will also need it for a quest. Uh, place a flare like light right here, and uh, uh, I forgot to mention, but there is also this uh, under crushed APC uh, right under side place. Uh, yeah, military gear, some rations. Uh, I got this time, I guess. A rolling nade, uh, basic military gear from airfield, I guess. The same loot pool, so yeah, that's it, I guess, for the, this week. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. The channel is growing very rapidly and I very appreciate it. If we hit 700 subs, we'll probably do another giveaway for a even better skin. So uh, yeah, join the Discord as well for a chance to win it, obviously. So have a nice day.